Promotanteri Promotanteri Welcome uh, viewers Today we are on uh, topic SARS learned in Form 3 Before we define what a SAD is let us first look at rational and irrational numbers so what is a rational number a rational number is a number is either an integer a fraction written in the form of p all over q where p and q are integers uh, having no common divisor other than one and q should not be equals to zero for example we can have uh, 3 all over 4 is an example of a rational number. Why? Because it is written in the form of P all over Q. Okay? And the two numbers, P and Q, they don't have a common divisor other than 1. Because this one is divisible by 1, this one is divisible by only that. And Q is greater than 0. In other words, Q is 4. Okay? So that is what you call a rational number. Another example of a rational number, uh, we can have uh, a half, is also a rational number. Uh, fourth root, or square root of four, is also a rational number. Negative one is also a rational number. Uh, negative two is also a rational number. So that's what we call uh, a rational number. Recurring decimals can also be uh, 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 rational numbers. Why are we saying recurring uh, decimal are also uh, rational number? Because they can be written as a fraction or in the form of P all over Q. So recurring decimals are also example of a rational number. Let us now move to a uh, irrational number. What is an irrational number? An irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed as integer or recurring decimal or terminating decimal. That is what you call a rational number. For example, we have uh, root 2. Root 2 is not a, a rational number or root 2 is irrational because it is a not terminating decimal neither is it a recurring decimal neither is it a recurring what decimal because root 2 will be equal to 1.4142135162 so this one is not a recurring uh, decimal so it is irrational number another example of irrational number that will be uh, root 3. We also have uh, root 11. We cannot find the exact roots. We cannot find what? The exact roots. So that's what we call irrational number. We also have uh, 4 root 3. So all these are examples of uh, irrational number. So once we have known what a rational and irrational number are now we can define a sad what is a sad so we can say a sad is an expression that do not have exact roots they do not have exact exact roots that is what we call uh, sads so that means irrational numbers are sads so examples of sads e.g. we have a square root of 2 this one does not have exact roots we also have square root of 5 this one also does not have exact roots we also have a cube root of 36 we also have a, a cube root of 16 so all these are examples of size because they don't have uh, exact roots NB. Now we have to note when you multiply 
the product of a third, the product of of a third and a rational number. So the product of a third and a rational number is called a uh, mixed third. Is called mixed third. Example, e.g., we have uh, uh, two row three. Two is a rational number, while row three is a third. Okay, so this is what we call mixed third. We also have four root seven. Four is a rational number, while root seven is a third. Good. Now from there. Uh, let us now move to uh, order of sides. Order of what? Order of sides. For example, uh, uh, we have uh, square uh, square root of two, square root of five, square root of seven. So these kind of roots are order of two. Okay. So these kind of sides are of order two. What about uh, cube root of two? Cube root of 5, cube root of 7. So these ones are sides of order 3. So in general, if we have uh, n root of a number, let's say a, then we say this one is of sad, is a sad of order n. A sad. Let us now look at. Uh, Simplification of SARS. Now SARS can be simplified to its lowest form. Uh, for example, if we consider the example, uh, we have a root. We have root seventy-two. So how can we simplify this SAD? This SAD can be simplified by uh, writing the number under the uh, under the root as the product of two numbers or has an exact root for example 722 can be written as the square root of uh, 36 times 2 so we have expressed 72 as a product of two number 36 and 2 whereby uh, has an exact root. So this one can be written as square root of 36 times square root of 2. Square root of 36 is 6. So we have 6 times 2, which is root 2. So that one is the reduced side. If we look at another example, we have root 128. This one can be written as uh, 64 times 2 because 64 times 2 can give you 28 and one of the numbers has a perfect square or one of the number is a perfect square that is 64 so this one can be written as 64 square root of 64 times square root of 2 square root of 64 that is 8 uh, and then times root 2 so that is also the reduced side we can also have another example, uh, root 175. So this one can be written as root 25 times 7, which is root 25 times root 7. Root 25 is 5, so we have uh, 5 times root 7. Okay, so that one now is the reduced. Uh, sad or we can also call it the mixed sad because it is a it contains a, r a rational number and a sad okay so can you try this one uh, root 200 root 200 can you uh, simplify that sad you can send your response to the section or the comment section below thank you very much and welcome